Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with another perfume haul. I love doing perfume hauls. Honestly, this is my favorite type of video because I just get to share with you everything that I got uh, with some of these perfumes. I actually have them for like months, but I've just been like testing them over and over again. So coming here and share with you my honest opinion and to give the fragrance like a full wear test to see exactly how it develops to see exactly how it performs on the skin and uh, so yeah all the time when i uh, when i film a perfume haul i'm just like yes finally i can do it so i've got in here i believe around 10 fragrances um they're just amazing for spring and summer i have some darker scents that are still gonna work in the springtime and they are just uh, just amazing scents in here so before we start if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in all right i have a few perfumes from sospiro they were um kind enough to uh, give me some fragrances they actually contacted me and they asked me what type of fragrances i like and i saw this one this is prima donna um and i was like I feel like I'm gonna like that fragrance, but they actually they send more than that. Like always, I told them from the very beginning, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna feature it. If you want me, I can feature it, but I'm gonna say that I don't like it. Somehow, I like all of the ones that they sent me. I actually got a discovery kit and I wasn't really a fan of what I got on the discovery kit. So yeah, I'm not saying that I love everything from the brand, but the three full bottles that I got, they absolutely, absolutely like nailed it. I, I really, really like all of them. It's the type of DNA that I like. They're all like very different, but still like my vibe, my type. Like I said, the first one, it's Prima Donna. Uh, when I saw the notes, I was like, I feel like I'm gonna like that fragrance. You already saw the box. This is the presentation. We have this beautiful yellow orange velvet bottle beautiful cap love the presentation um they have other collections they have like a green one those were like dark deep green those were a bit more masculine but the ones in this like yellow orange bottle i really like the ones that i got okay uh prima donna uh, prima donna it's such an interesting fragrance and i don't know it just changes and it has notes that maybe you smell the other fragrances, but you never think that they are going to work together so well. This one, I would say, is the darkest one that I have in here. Let's give it a spray. Yes. Prima Donna has, let, let me tell you about the notes. We have fruity notes, cherry, jasmine, rum, maggot, leather, herbal notes, lactonic notes, musk, amber, chocolate cedarwood and resins i have no idea what that muget my get is I, I don't even know if i pronounce it correctly doesn't matter when you first spray this perfume you are definitely getting the leather okay something fresh like a bit aromatic a bit fruity so it makes sense fruity notes herbal notes makes perfect sense but then I was getting this like sweetness coming from the background. And then I looked online and people were saying that this one for them is similar to Symphonium from Zerzhov. Now, if you not tell me that this one has chocolate, I would probably not guess that. But as soon as I saw Symphonium Zerzhov, I was like, yes, yes, it has the same type of chocolate. It's not strong. Don't think it's a chocolate fragrance. What I'm getting is this leather that it's not too feminine, not too masculine. I will not say it's a very, it's a creamy leather, but it's not an animalic leather. It's not a scratchy leather either. With some fruity, aromatic twist. And then you're getting this like creamy chocolate in the background it's just in the background honestly if i didn't know that this one has chocolate i would probably not smell it but now that i know i was like yes i'm getting that chocolate orange but definitely the leather is the main note in this fragrance if you like leather um i feel like you're gonna absolutely love this one it's 
a leather that is done in a feminine way because it still has a sweetness it, it's a beautiful scent it's a beautiful scent this one is definitely more like fall winter beginning of spring and what i've noticed all of their perfumes are strong like they are strong they're not playing around they are strong fragrances I will not say this is my favorite from the ones that I got, but it's one that I really like. 100% I would wear this one. It's not too masculine. And yes, you're getting like a touch of chocolate orange just in the background. Just a touch. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Prima Donna from Sympho um, Sospiro. I will say Symphonium. I was thinking of uh, Symphonium from Sospiro. The next one. The next one we have Bel Canto. Bel Canto, listen, now that I have Bel Canto, I might have to declutter a fragrance because this, let me tell you the notes first. We have Bel Canto, Jasmine, Citrus Notes, Powder Notes, Violet, Herbal Notes, Amber, Woody Notes, Musk, Sandalwood, Vetiver, Vanilla, Earthy Notes, and Patchouli. This fragrance reminds me of San Santal Complet, but this one would be Santal Complex. I do like Santal Complet. I do have that one. Um, it's a love-hate relationship for me with that perfume. I have days when I absolutely love it. And then I have days when I'm like, I feel like it's missing something. This fragrance here, you take Santal Complet, and you make it way more concentrated and maybe you just add a drop of Gris Chanel from BDK and you make it a bit sweeter but it has like a body Santal Complete is quite airy this one has a body it feels thicker if I have to choose they're not one uh, like one to one they're not dupes by any means but I kind of prefer this one. I generally kind of prefer this one. It's something in Santal Complete. It's something cold almost in Santal Complete that sometimes I don't necessarily like. This one is definitely like a warmer version, thicker version, a bit more complex version of that. I do really like it. And it has better uh, projection and like performance in general. I do really like it. If you like that type of DNA, I feel like you're going to absolutely love this one. It doesn't have coconut, but I'm still getting that, you know, like toasted coconut that's in Santal Complet. Oh, I hate to do this, but I like this one better. I like this one better. I do, I do really like Santal Complet, but... I feel like this one is just better, honestly. And I received that one as well, so it's not like, you know, I received this one and I'm like, oh, this one is better than the other one. No, it's like honest opinion. I feel like this one is better. Yes, Bel Canto. Um, a tricky one because I don't know what I'm going to do with my Santal Complete now because I have this and I do like it. Like, I do really, really like it. It kind of has what was missing from Santal Complete. Right, now let's move on to the last one and to my favorite one. And that one is Dolce Melodia. Listen, this fragrance, it's <sighs> spring, summer. This is gonna be amazing. Honestly, I'm going on holiday. I think when I'm gonna post this video, I'm gonna be actually on holiday. I'm gonna be in Portugal and I already made myself a decant of this perfume because is that amazing? And I can't wait to wear it. Um, Dolce Melodia. Let me tell you about the notes. We have mandarin, orange, saffron, rose, jasmine, gardenia, pear, blackcurrant, sandalwood, vanilla, and white musk. It is so good. It's just, you know... We have fruity perfumes, we have Herba Pura, we have Kirke, we have all of the perfumes from Tiziana Terenzi. I love that type of DNA, okay? I just love and adore that type of DNA. This just... You are getting 
the jasmine, gardenia, the pear, the, uh, the orange, the black currant, the sandalwood, and the vanilla. It's this fruity, white, floral, fruity fragrance. That is refreshing, but very sweet and creamy in the same time. The vanilla and the, and the sandalwood, you can definitely smell them and are very creamy and sweet. And the fruits are not, even though it has citruses, it's not necessarily like, I don't know. You know how citruses sometimes can be like in your face? This one feels like this like beautiful, creamy blend of pear with a bit of black currant, of mandarin, it's such such a beautiful fragrance and then you're getting that mix of jasmine and gardenia they are not necessarily strong like you're not getting like straight up jasmine or straight up gardenia you're getting this like beautiful creamy bouquet of white flowers it's such a beautiful fragrance and very strong honestly i cannot wait like i said i'm filming this video now but by the time when i'm gonna post it i'm already gonna be in portugal and i made myself a decant of this because I need to wear it. This is probably the strongest of all of them. It's very, very strong. Yes, it does have musk, but the musk is not strong by any means. It's just such a beautiful, creamy, fruity scent. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you like that type of DNA, you are going to be in love, in love with uh, Dolce Melodia. So if I have to recommend one of... Um, these ones from the three perfumes that I received, Dolce Melodia, 100%. It's brilliant. It's amazing. Especially for this time of year, it's going to be fantastic. So the last scent that we have from Sospiro, it's Dolce Melodia. All right, because we talked about summery scents, I've got two in here. One is summery, one is not. But both of them are from a brand that I really, really like. And that is Carner Barcelona. Uh, I purchased from them in the past. I do have quite a few fragrances from them. And um, when they asked me if they are, want to receive any fragrances, they, got, they sent me the discovery kit. I tested them and just felt in love with this one and the next one. The first one, it's Bobo. It's not Bobo, as in like Spanish, Bobo. No, it's actually, I, I looked up for the night because I was, I was a bit confused. It's actually uh, named after a dance, okay? So it's not Bobo as in Spanish, Bobo, okay? Uh, my Spanish viewers are gonna understand. Or like South America, they're gonna understand. Everyone that speaks Spanish is gonna understand the joke. I was making a joke. Anyway, the fragrance. The fragrance, it's for the summer, brilliant. Now, let me tell you about the notes. We have uh, Italian bergamot, Italian mandarin and black currant, African orange flower, Indian jasmine, lily of the valley, white amber, musk, and vetiver. It's very important that Italian bergamot in, and Italian mandarin, because in my opinion, what I've noticed is all the time when you have Italian lemon, Italian bergamot, Italian something is going to be way more zesty and way more citrusy. This is a very zesty and citrusy fragrance. But then you're getting this like orange blossom, African orange flower, that's orange blossom, and jasmine and lily. It kind of gives me Valaya from Parfum Zumarli or Flor Narcotique from Ex Nihilo vibes, but with lots and lots of citruses. Very zesty. Yes, like very zesty orange, bergamot. That's why they're like Italian all the time when something it's like a citrus is from Italy, it's going to be even more citrusy. That's, that's my experience. I do really like it. This is like super refreshing. It has a bit of, I don't know, like this like clean vibe as well. But it's just this beautiful, elegant orange blossom, jasmine, lily, but then you just put lots and lots of citruses on top. Such an easy fragrance. I don't know, just perfect. Just perfect for holiday, honestly. If you are indecisive, if you want to wear like white, fl a white floral perfume or a citrusy perfume, you like one kind of like 
both, you have Bobo from Camer Barcelona. And now let's move on to the next one. The next one, I already talked about this, cuir. Cuir, um, obviously, leather. My French is not the best, but I at least know that cuir, it's leather. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but I know it's leather. Um, cuir has notes. Cumin, saffron, violet, standardwood, cedarwood, patchouli, tonka bean, cistus, musk, wood, nutmeg, dry amber, and leather. Cuir is one of the most beautiful leather fragrances they are going to find. Perfectly unisex, maybe a little slightly feminine. Very, very creamy leather soft leather and you're definitely getting this like sandalwood like tonka bean does it have sandalwood let me double check it has tonka bean it has sandalwood yes i'm not wrong it has sandalwood this is what i'm getting this like creamy just like creamy leather creamy leather it has other notes you can smell other notes but this is mainly what i'm getting Leather with sandalwood with tonka bean, and there is something a bit like aromatic as well. Maybe I know I love it, absolutely love it. Honestly, this is like for beginners. If you don't like leather, if you're afraid of leather, this is the fragrance that you have to start with. Try this one, probably you're gonna like it. If you don't like this fragrance, then you definitely don't like leather, like you, you absolutely love, um, hate leather. But you might change your perspective, you might change your opinion when it comes to leather because this is just such, such a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, I know, love it, love it, love it so much, honestly, like, I'm obsessed with leather right now, not necessarily just like, I, I, I still don't like the animalic one, I still don't like, I know, the dark skin scratch one i don't like that but this is such such a soft leather love it so cuir from uh, carner barcelona and um let's talk about another perfume because i have another cinnamon uh keali yam pistachio gelato 33 i already made um a full review for this perfume basically obviously watch that video if you want to know uh, my opinion on this one like the full review this one it's Pistachio ice cream with cotton candy, and then I'm getting something citrusy. It's not listed, but I'm definitely getting this like lime lemon note for sure. I do really, really like it. Check the review. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna compare this one actually to other pistachio fragrances that I have in my collection. But so far, I do really like it, and um, I can't wait to be released. I'm not sure if it's actually released when I'm gonna post this video. If it's still not released, it's still not released. Um, or I, I still don't guarantee that this is actual a natural Keali. I don't know. I'm filming videos like I'm pre-filming because I said I'm going on holiday. So I need to be ready. I need to have something for you guys. <sighs> Such a beautiful fragrance. Uh, watch the video, okay? Um, Keali Yam Pistachio Gelato 33. Right, because we are talking about summer and holiday, I do have some other perfumes just perfect for summer and holiday. The first one is from um, The Merchant of Venice, and this one is La Fenice. I had, I love their boxes, they're so cute. Um, I had in the past Andalusian Soul, and I sold it, I decluttered that perfume, and now I'm gonna kind of like, why? I might buy that one again because. I really liked it. I have no idea why I sold that perfume. Anyway, this is La Fenice. I had it in my collection probably for like over three months right now. I've seen other people uh, start to talk about it. I saw Noel from I Am Noel. You have to watch her video. She's amazing. Um, she talked about this perfume. And um, yeah, I purchased it before. Um, but I've seen other perfume, uh, other perfume reviewers reviewing, obviously, this one. And I kind of agree with everything that they have to say. Anyway, La Fenice. This is a 50 ml and it's quite inexpensive. I think it's like 80 pounds. I mean, for niche, it's a good price. Um, the bottle is beautiful and I'm getting all of them. Um, this one, next is going to be a memo parties. I'm getting them from Perfume Dreams. 
here in the UK. All the time they have like 20, 25% off discount. So 25%, I got this one probably like for like 70, less than that. So not bad. Now, La Fenice has notes. Hawthorn, mandarin, almond flower, heliotrope, tuberose, cedarwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. Again, Hawthorn, annoying name, I cannot pronounce it properly. Basically, it's a flower that smells generally exactly like jasmine, if you ask me. More like jasmine sandbag. This perfume, when you first spray it, I'm not crazy about it, okay? Because I'm getting this like very sweet, I don't know, like jasmine sandbag with a little bit of tuberose. It's just something in the opening. I'm not sure if it's the fact that it's quite sweet or it's the tuberose or I'm not like obsessed with the opening. But the dry down, the dry down, you are definitely getting that vanilla. And the, that jasmine, it's not jasmine, it's how thorn, how whatever. Uh, that kind of disappears. You're left with this beautiful, sweet tuberose. And then the vanilla in this, with the heliotrope, with the almond flower, are amazing. Generally, amazing. One of the best, if not the best, floral vanilla that I have in my collection. This is like sweet and creamy and a bit almondy. You know how heliotrope has that like powdery, almondy, floral scent. Like opening is cute. Opening, I'm okay with the opening, but the dry down of this, it's unbelievable. If you tested it and you weren't like the biggest fan of the opening, just wait. Wait for like, I don't know, 20 minutes because the dry down is fantastic. I really like it. Um, beautiful scent for springtime. Again, uh, it's cute, the opening, but the dry down, it's absolutely amazing. And I love the bottle, like, look at the bottle. How cute is that? This thing is quite annoying, not gonna lie, because it keeps like falling or like, but like just sitting on the shelf like that. It's cute, I like it. Anyway, La Fenice from The Merchant of Venice. Beautiful scent for the price. Um, wait until the dry down because the dry down is the best of the best of the best uh, floral vanilla that you can find at least in my opinion uh next let's move on because i told you about a fragrance from memo paris this one is madurai i think this is how you pronounce it madurai i do believe so madurai is basically a city in india and when i saw the name i was like this is gonna be spicy not for me well it's not it's not spicy this is their new like packaging it's not spicy i actually tested it it wasn't a blind buy and i was like wait a minute that is beautiful i love their bottles first of all like i really like their bottles okay i love them before they change the frosted glass i'm okay with the frosted glass i'm not the biggest fan of like frosted glass uh but like the plates like, the plates are i don't know it's just nice to look at them especially when you have multiple fragrances from memo paris anyway madurai let me tell you the notes we have turmeric sambac jasmine peach italian bergamot oil clary sage oil tuberose jasmine Tajelwe, Tajel oil, Tajel da, Tajete, Tajet, Tajet. I have no idea what I wrote in here. It's either Tajet or Tajele oil. Something. I don't know. Sandalwood and Sweet. Let's give this one a spray. This is. It's not spicy. I know it has turmeric, but it's not. I don't smell anything spicy. This is this watery, fluffy jasmine with peach. This is what I'm getting. It does have other notes, super rose, bergamot. You're getting hints of other notes, but this is mainly what I'm getting. This like super fluffy, watery. Again, if you like Flor Narcotique, if you like, this one definitely doesn't smell the same. But that like every feminine, elegant, 
jasmine with peach. The peach is not very strong though, but it gives the fragrance a sweetness and the fruitiness. Really liked it. As soon as I sprayed this one, I, I told you, I tested it first and I was like, I do really like it. We memo parties, it's either a hit or a miss for me. This is my fourth bottle. And I tested in the past, I tested Marfa, I tested Sintra, Inla, uh, lots of fragrances and no, they were a big, big, big no for me. I was like, I hate them. But this, surprise, surprise, absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, if you like white floral perfumes, if you like jasmine, if you like airy, fluffy fragrances, check this one out because it's stunning. Honestly, it's stunning. Madurai from Memo Paris. And we have two more perfumes and then we are done. We have, because I said Ex Nihilo, from Ex Nihilo Gold Immortals. Uh, you probably know that I have a large collection of Ex Nihilo. Uh, I do have another one on my wish list and then I think I'm done. I will not say I like everything, everything that they have on the market, but I like and love most of them. Gold Immortals. It's very hard for me to describe it for you because let me first tell you the notes. We have bergamot, pear, lily slang, peony, tonka, musk, and amber. I generally don't know what note is it. Lisilang, lily slang, lisilang. I think it's lisilang. What are those notes? Honestly, like, what are those names? Lis is like lily and ilang ilang. I don't know. Anyway. I told you in the past that all of the Ex Nihilo, except Fleur Narcotique, at least the ones that I have, all of them, they have this ambery, like gold, amber, airiness with a bit of wood. This is basically that. It's not listed, but in every single perfume from Ex Nihilo, except Fleur Narcotique, I can smell this airy sweet wood but very very soft and sweet and amber i know it's just a dna that it's in all of their fragrances that dna that thing that you can smell in all of their fragrances it's basically in this perfume it's just that this smells like pure luxe this smells like i don't know you are I, w I was about to say Hollywood, but I went to Hollywood and I didn't really like it. Like, it wasn't as glamorous as I thought. I know, you go to Monaco, you go to, you live on, on a yacht, you, something like that. You have money. Like, lots of them. It smells incredible. You have, it's very hard for me to explain how this one smells. Like, I hate, I absolutely hate when people... When they review fragrances, they're like, oh, I can smell the bergamot and I can smell the pear and I can smell like that. Literally, they can smell every single note that is listed. I cannot. I generally can't smell the notes that are listed. And I'm telling you, like, a moment. I explain to you how it smells like. But with this one, I cannot. You have to test Ex Nihilo. And probably if you test, like, you, not necessarily this one, but if you test probably like four or five perfumes, you're going to... Find that DNA that all of them have, and that DNA is basically gold immortals. I absolutely love it. Like for me, Ex Nihilo, it's a brand that makes so like the fragrances are so sophisticated, but are very modern in the same time. Nothing that I smell from them smells like dated, but it's very elegant and bougie. Like bougie, or like their bottles with the gold cap and everything. Everything is bougie about Ex Nihilo. It's not over the top, but it's just like kind of minimalistic, but still like with the gold cap and that's the vibe that they have. And I love it. Um, so yeah, that's that was the review book called Immortals. Go and smell it. It's amazing. I generally don't know what to tell you more than that. I wish I could, but I hate, I, I don't want to be here and tell you that I can smell all of these notes when in reality I cannot. Um, gold Immortals from Ex Nihilo. And now the last one and the fragrance that stole my heart and... Uh, Right now, I'm like, I want to be like Sanya Osai, but at the same time, I want to wear this perfume. This one is from Music de Parfum, and this one, it's Soul. Honestly, when you have like, have the notes. Uh, not the notes. Are the notes? Yes, the notes. Like, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. This is Soul. Right now, I want all of them, because, I know, imagine like having all of them. 
just so satisfying anyway i have soul in here which when i saw the notes i was like that's scary like i'm not sure if it's um, if i'm gonna like it it's not that i like it i adore it soul has notes agarwood jasmine rose patchouli sandalwood amber musk and vanilla when i saw agarwood and patchouli i was like because mm, you know how maybe you have just like one or two of these notes and you're like eh, it's gonna be fine and you realize that extremely strong this is not the case in this one this perfume reminds me okay let me start of um intense cafe of uh, deluxe and all of these fragrances but it's so delicious honestly obviously you're not getting any coffee because it doesn't have any coffee the rose is definitely way more muted that agarwood is quite muted as well and then the vanilla in this this perfume is all about the vanilla it's vanilla with some rose and some agarwood but all done in that intense cafe type of scent but the vanilla in this it's so syrupy i i have no words honestly it's it's like creme brulee vanilla with some rose some agarwood i can smell a hint of patchouli honestly Yes, I can smell a bit of patchouli, but it's not strong by any means. Like, you know, I don't like patchouli. And jasmine, not really, sandalwood, mm, maybe. But the vanilla. This thing is delicious. This thing is delicious. It's such a syrupy, like gold syrup vanilla, creme brulee vanilla. With a bit of oud and then a bit of rose. If you like that type of scent, like I said, Intense Cafe, Deluxe, that type of scent, get it. Honestly, just buy it because it's not the same. It's going to remind you of that, but it's just 10 times better. It's delicious. The vanilla in this perfume is absolutely delicious. I know. It kind of smells like how I wanted Keali, um, the new vanilla one, to smell like, but the patchouli was like just too strong. I still like it. I still like it, but... But it's that creme brulee vanilla in this like it's obviously it's not listed like that and but this is what i'm getting amazing absolutely amazing um i want to discover more from this brand because the bottle is beautiful and the scent is just and they have another collection it's not the notes one it's i know they just have like names and they're coming in bots uh, in black bottles that are too in there where the notes ooh, sound amazing so yeah the last scent that we have in this haul is from Music de Parfum and this one is Sol. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below um, if you tested any of these fragrances, if you like them, if you don't, and all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.